Hey, thank you for watching today. This is Charlie Rose with Rosendi Woodworks. And this one excites me. It's, it's very simple. Probably wouldn't excite no one else in the world other than me. But this hammer has been missing for years. And last week when I was doing some work in the backyard and really expanding along the tree line, I found it. In fact, I almost mowed over it. I did mow over it once. I almost mowed over it again. Then I happened to look down and see it. So it's kind of where some low brush was. I was pushing and cutting it back. I saw this. So it's been laying on the ground. I, I lost this years ago. In fact, got its replacement. So very same brand. I love this particular style of hammer. And more than anything, what, and you'll see in the video, kind of what it looked like before is it's very rusted. And, and you can see the damages of the rust and the, nothing that's too bad. Nothing that compromises its ability to be used. Although I don't know if I'll use it a ton. You can see the handle itself. <clears throat> Got a little bit darker with time. Could be one of those things environmentally, you know, that just cause it to be darker. As odd as it may sound, a very fond part of my childhood and growing up as a teenager and going into college and stuff because I worked in my dad's business and helping to frame homes. And so this was this was a, a fixture on your hip. Just remember pulling it out, using it, and being able to go. It just feels like it's part of you. And I guess now more than anything, it's sentimental to me because I've had it so long. Thrilled that I found it. But it reminds me of a really impressionable time in my life um, as a young adult and working in my dad's business, especially now with my dad's health. Um, we, we watched him deteriorate over the years, so it's hard to see. Um, but he's battling some cancer. And, you know, it's just one of those things that's just... Uh, this means a lot to me to have found this. You, know, you just can't replace those memories. And, and I guess what this video about it, from, to me more than anything else, is not that we cleaned up an old rusty hammer that we found in the backyard, but it brought back some memories. Now, I don't know if you have any, but if you've got a tool or something where that means something to you, maybe it was a, a tool chest that was handed down from your great grandfather or your grandfather, Whatever it may be, share it. I, I'd love to hear about it because I think there's so many interesting stories. And this $30 hammer was something that has kept me connected and will continue to keep me connected to my past, um, certainly to my present, and hopefully to my future as well. So when you have that, share it with us. We'd love to hear it. Thank you. Enjoy the video and look forward to hearing from you. Um, make some comments below and I'll be glad to respond to those. Again, thank you. Appreciate it very much. But I'm excited to see if we can make this look somewhat decent again, um, put it back into good use. All right, let's get our bucket. And actually, what I want to do here, too, is over. All right, let's just stick this in here. Let's start on the handle first. I don't know if you're like me, if you've ever had like those favorite tools, you're just like, ah, I love this tool. I use this tool for everything. Or it's just so durable and it just feels like a, a third appendage or something because you're just so comfortable with it. I remember just being able to take these. I may have had this before I was out of high school, but you could take this and uh, just flip it into your nail apron, spin it around. It just was a comfortable thing. Be able to use. That's going to clean up real easily there. You can just kind of see here where it's coming along. Actually, it's got quite a bit of pitting. I'm surprised at how much is there. You can kind of see that. It's a lot of different little pits. Probably not as strong as it used to be, but strong enough for what we'll need it for. Oh. All right.
Be careful when you're using that. I got a little too careless. I spin my fingers off. And with that, we are going to go from those nylon gloves that would do no good to these, which might at least save me a cut or a finger, hopefully. One side's not pitted. This side isn't pitted quite as bad as what it started to see there. This may have been the side that was actually laying down in the dirt and this side was up, I'm suspecting. So, all right, let's get this side more. Let me get the top some. Okay, so now I want to try some try something different. I'm going to try some acetone. Now, I'm sure somebody out there is probably watching saying, don't do it. And you might be right, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to try to see if I can clean up this handle. I know we've got some old maybe paint or caulk, but I'm just curious now um, just to see what this does. So let's give it a try. Oh, those of you that might know some chemistry, what does this acetone potentially do to the rubber? Well, it's probably not rubber, vinyl, plastic, something here. It does have a softer feel to it, so I don't know what it is. Continue to scratch away the metal. See if we can make that look a little cleaner. I don't, I don't want to get to the point where I'm grinding anything, but I'm going to try a bigger wire brush wheel. See if I can get a little bit more speed on that surface. All right, that's getting a little bit more surface velocity on this wire brush. So that's actually taking more, getting a little bit more sheen and luster to it. <laughs> kind of looks like, I don't know if you can see from the lighting there, but the way that's pitted almost looks like some kind of satellite topographical map or something showing terrain. First, I see it here. You can see with the light. It's got a lot of pretty decent amount of pitting there. Again, I'm a little bit surprised. Maybe I shouldn't be. It's been there a while. It's just it's amazing the difference between the side that I suspect was against the ground and the side that wasn't, how much difference there is in pitting. Well, it already looks like a completely different hammer. It's got some shine to it. Ooh, that's like the acne side of that. That's amazing, the, the difference. I'm still just... Now, this side certainly has pitting, too. I don't know if you can tell. I'll try to turn it in the light where you can see the difference. Um, you know, we're able to get back to bare metal in a lot of the area. 
And this side, just wow, just that pitting just sitting there. Now, you're probably asking, I know I certainly would, why would you take the time to clean up this hammer? You got one certainly good. This one you could have just easily thrown away. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you ever do that or not, but I have sentimental connections to this. Um, the memories I have growing up and in, in using this type of hammer or this very hammer in instances, you know, working in my dad's business and stuff too, and especially now with his health, that brings back memories of working with my dad. You can't imagine just the excitement of seeing it. And then also the, the fear of, did I just mow over that? Because I was certainly about to mow over it again. Um, but, you know, maybe you have something like that that means something to you. I'm glad that I could find this and bring it somewhat back to life. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So tell me what you think. You got something like that, a, a tool that maybe you've restored. Certainly, I wouldn't call this a restoration, but it looks a whole lot better than it did, you know, 10 minutes ago. But if you've got something that you've done, I'd be curious to hear about it. Let us let us know. Maybe you got a video on it or something too, but just something that means something to you. And maybe you restored it to a point that, you know, is back in the family, so to speak. So thanks again for watching. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.